we present Bench MR, a motion planning benchmark for wheeled mobile robots. There are many components in the motion planning pipeline, ranging from the planning algorithms and extend functions, to the environments on which they are evaluated. Finding a best performing combination of these ingredients for the desired use case is therefore a challenge. Bench MR enables the evaluation of such planning approaches specifically tailored to wheeled mobile robots, supporting applications in service or intralogistics robotics as well as autonomous driving. Our benchmarking suite provides a high-level interface via Jupyter Notebooks that allows the user to easily set up new scenarios and obtain informative insights on the performance of the planning algorithms and the quality of the found solutions. Bench MR is expendable and we already support different motion planning backends, such as OMPL and SBPL out of the box. We support many different environment types, including procedurally generated environments. In addition, many planning techniques and extend functions, as well as other components in the planning pipeline are provided. Closest to our work are the following benchmarking frameworks. OMPL provides a benchmarking tool that applies to any robotic system and is focused on a more generic evaluation of the planning algorithms, whereas we specifically focus on applications in wheeled robotics, such as parking or warehouse navigation. The Moving AI benchmark provides various grid environments, such as the city's dataset, which we also support in this work. It focuses on grid-based path planning and does not account for the kinodynamic constraints that wheeled mobile robots impose. The Common Road Project provides various scenarios related to lane changing which are typically encountered in autonomous driving. Our focus is on motion planning in static environments where longer-term plans need to be found. In the following, we give an overview of Bench MR. The main functionality is implemented in C++. There, we interface with external libraries, such as OMPL and SBPL. We supply different implementations of the planning components, including the extend functions, optimization objectives, and post-smoothing algorithms, among others. In addition, different scenarios and metrics are implemented to evaluate these components. The configuration of benchmarks happens through JSON files which provide a human-readable interface to set up reproducible experiments. Although it is possible to directly define experiments via the C++ code, or the JSON configuration, it is often more productive to leverage a higher-level programming language to access such benchmarking functionality. Therefore, we provide a Python interface where the user can set up new scenarios and configure experiments. The Python layer communicates with the C++ backend through the JSON configuration files. When an experiment has finished, a JSON file containing the results is generated and consumed by the Python interface. Through Jupyter Notebooks, BenchMR provides an easy-to-use environment where the user can plot and analyze the results as soon as they become available. As part of the motion planning components, we provide different types of environments. Polygon-based environments represent obstacles as convex polygons, which can be loaded from vector graphics files, such as SVG files. Grid-based environments represent obstacles as grid cells that are either occupied or free, and can be loaded from grayscale image files. We also implement various techniques of procedurally generated environments. Occupancy grids resembling corridor-like environments can be randomly generated for different corridor sizes and complexities. Furthermore, random grids can be generated with a defined occupancy ratio. For polygon-based environments, BenchMR supplies a generator for asteroid fields, where convex polygons can be automatically generated at random to represent obstacles. At the core of Bench MR are the motion planning algorithms. We support sampling-based motion planners from the Open Motion Planning Library. These include the feasible planners, such as RRT or PRM, as well as asymptotically optimal planners, such as RRT star or PRM star. For all sampling-based planners we support the sampling from a uniform distribution or a deterministic sequence, such as Halton sequence. Besides sampling-based planners, we additionally include lattice-based planners from the search-based planning library. These include algorithms, such as ARA star or MHA star that find a path by constructing a graph where motion primitives connect the vertices. Extend functions are used by sampling-based planners to connect consecutive states on a path. We support robot dynamics models for a kinematic car and a kinematic single track model that account for a two-dimensional position plus yaw angle of the robot. The typical car steer functions, such as Dubin's and Reed's Shep are included, as well as the continuous curvature steer function and POSQ for differential drive robots. 
For the state lattice-based planners from SBPL, we include car-like motion primitives as well. Post-smoothing methods improve the path found by the motion planners. We provide interfaces to the following algorithms from OMPL. B spline, which fits a spline through the vertices to smoothen the path. Shortcut. Tries to skip vertices on the path to connect them directly. Simplify Max combines B spline and shortcutting. Finally, gradient informed path smoothing, or GRIPS, moves vertices on the obstacle distance field gradient and uses shortcutting to smoothen the path. By default, the motion planners try to minimize the path length while searching for a feasible solution. Optionally, the user can also select other optimization objectives, such as smoothness, where the angle between consecutive path segments is kept as small as possible. Another objective is the curvature normalized over path length, which minimizes the curvature of the path segments between path discontinuities, also known as cusps. Finally, the clearance can be maximized, so that the distance to the nearest obstacle at each point on the path is as high as possible. In many path planning libraries the robot is assumed to be a point, which simplifies the collision checking against obstacles. To bring Bench MR closer to real-world mobile robot applications, our default collision detection is based on polygons. As shown on the right, the robot can be represented by convex polygons which are tested for collision with both grid-based and polygon-based environments. We use the separating axis theorem for efficient collision checking between convex polygons. Having found a solution, for each path that is processed through Bench MR, we compute a variety of metrics. Besides path quality metrics, such as path length, curvature, smoothness, and number of cusps, we also summarize the computation time by the different planning phases, such as collision detection and the evaluation of the extend functions. Bench MR is expandable by the user to support more metrics as well. Let's take a look at an example on how to use Bench MR. Here you can see an experiment defined in a Jupyter notebook cell. We first create an MPB instance which manages the benchmark settings. We define the name of the benchmark run, specify the environment, select the planners to evaluate, and a steer function. Finally, we run the benchmark and visualize the trajectories. With a single function call, we can also plot various statistics over all the runs. Here we plot the path length, normalized curvature, computation time, mean clearing distance, and the number of cusps. The bar plot shows the number of found, collision-free, and exact solutions. Bench MR supports parallelized benchmarking out of the box. By instantiating a multiple MPB instance and adding MPB instances, such as the one you have seen before, benchmarks will be automatically executed in parallel. We now demonstrate in detail some experiments where Bench MR provides useful insights about the behavior of sampling-based motion planners. In a first example we compare different sampling techniques. Namely we compare the behavior of the PRM algorithm using the deterministic Halton sequence and the uniform distribution for sampling states. The experiments show the advantages of using deterministic over random sampling. PRM with Halton samples achieves better performance in terms of path length, normalized curvature, planning time and the number of cusps. In another experiment, we benchmark the motion planners on environments of varying complexity. We investigate how different planners perform by varying the obstacle density or the width of the corridors in indoor-like environments. As an example, we plot how the number of cusps of the paths of different motion planning algorithms using the reeds shep steer function vary with the environment complexity. Here, a we change the minimum corridor width for random indoor-like grid-based environments and the percentage of blocked cells for random grids. We can see that the number of cusps significantly decreases for almost all motion planning algorithms as the corridor sizes become bigger. On the other hand, the number of cusps goes up for almost all motion planning algorithms as the percentage of blocked cells increases. Bench MR allows us to use different combinations of feasible motion planners and post-smoothing algorithms. Such combinations have rarely been thoroughly evaluated and compared against asymptotically optimal planners. In this experiment we show such a comparison and analyze the performance of those two classes of algorithms in terms of path length and normalized curvature. The comparison is performed using the reeds shep extend function. In these figures, we can see that feasible motion planning with post-smoothing can indeed outperform asymptotically near-optimal motion planning algorithms in both planning efficiency and the resulting path quality. For example, 
RRT using the post-smoothing algorithm Simplify Max, shown in the center, achieves a smaller path length, and about the same normalized curvature, after less than one second, while informed RRT star, shown on the right, finds a solution after 60 seconds. In another experiment, we compare the different combinations in random indoor-like grid-based environments, using the reeds shep steer function. As we can see from the figures, the post-smoothing algorithms, GRIPS and Simplify Max often significantly decrease the path length and maximum curvature, with Simplify Max typically running faster. The post-smoothing algorithm B-spline does not always improve the path quality, which might be due to the issue that B-splines do not translate well to paths that can be followed by Reed's Shep and other steer functions, resulting in slight turns that increase the curvature. In our final experiment, we show how Bench MR allows us to analyze the behavior of a sampling-based algorithm by varying the optimization criterion it is using. In the top row, we visualize the trajectories resulting from three different optimization criteria, namely path length, minimum clearance, and normalized curvature. These solutions have been found by PRM star and evaluated on five different procedurally generated corridor environments. In the bottom row, we report the statistical results from PRM star using these three different objectives. The figure indicates that maximizing the minimum clearing distance indeed increases the clearance compared to minimizing the path length or normalized curvature but also increases the number of cusps substantially. Minimizing the normalized curvature, on the other hand, decreases the curvature slightly compared to minimizing the path length. With the goal of comparing a large set of state-of-the-art motion planning techniques, we presented Bench MR, the first open-source motion planning benchmarking framework designed for sampling-based motion planning for non-holonomic, wheeled mobile robots. The framework is available as open-source package, with more details and documentation on our website. In future work, we aim to extend our benchmarking suite to dynamic environments, to support even more realistic autonomous driving scenarios. Thank you for your attention.